Tonight, the DA is refusing to reopen the investigation into the death of a Dixon County deputy. This comes after growing calls for some sort of independent investigation and whether other officers may have played a role in Keith Beller's murder. All of this follows new questions raised by News Channel 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Phil Williams. We always knew that he might not come home, but I always expected it to be taken care of appropriately. For months now, Brandy Beller has been trying to get an independent investigation into the shooting death of her husband, Deputy Keith Beller, and allegations that the shooter, Jason Eggenberg, may have been the victim of taunting text messages from area officers. Now Brandy has an unlikely ally in the district's public defender, Jake Lockert. If these text messages were sent and they provoked the shooter into killing Deputy Beller, she deserves to know, the family deserves to know. If there's any doubt that we covered something up, I wanted to get out and open. After Dixon Police Chief Rick Chandler learned back in August that the deputy's widow was upset about his department's work on the case, he asked the DA to bring in the TBI to investigate. Now Dixon County Sheriff Jeff Bledsoe has joined that call. Everybody is concerned that we do our job and do it well. But DA Dan Alsobrooks tells News Channel 5 in an email that he has talked to all interested parties and, quote, no one can suggest a crime that could or should be investigated. I have no jurisdiction to ask for the TBI to review non-criminal matters. He knows better. He knows better. I mean, he's, he has just convicted um, my client uh, two years ago for criminal responsibility for manslaughter. He knows if these officers were sending text messages taunting this shooter to the point uh, that he committed the irrational act of killing Keith Beller. He knows that's criminal responsibility for manslaughter. And because of the officer's rumor to be involved, Lockhart says he believes the DA has a conflict of interest in making the decision that no investigation is needed. And that, he says, isn't fair to Keith Beller or his family. If the investigation is done, and it's determined that officers did not send these type text messages, then that's fine. That needs to come out. But if it's done and you find out that they were sending text messages that provoked this young man into shooting a fine young officer, then that needs to come out and it needs to go to a grand jury. Still, Dixon's police chief tells me that he and the sheriff are now unanimous in their belief that an independent investigation is needed. That's why they'll meet Thursday to figure out a way to make it happen. Phil Williams, News Channel 5 Investigates. Jake Locker tells Phil that he heard these same allegations from other officers right after the shooting. He says he can't understand why it was never investigated.